Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ijama. I'm a third year family medicine resident. Today is Tuesday and I'll be taking you um, along with me for the week of whatever I get into. This rotation that I'm on is a clinics month. So I spend a lot of time in my own continuity clinic, but I also go to other sh um, clinics around the city and um, work with other doctors just to get a feel for how other practices may run in different patient populations. So yesterday was a full day of clinic for me. It was kind of slow, had a lot of no-shows, but I ended up seeing 10 total. And then after clinic, I had a meeting for with some other residents um, for part of a committee that we were a part of. And um, I didn't have any food at home at all, so I went to the grocery store and I did very quick meal prep, like bought a jar, like a pasta sauce ready-made and like quickly just made some vegetables and left it at that. It's um, like this penna ala vodka sauce. It actually tastes pretty good. So did that. So today I am going to a rural medicine clinic um, that's about 40 minutes away from where I am right now. Uh, so I had to be up a little bit earlier than usual and I'm about to or I'm in the process of making breakfast. Um, I actually need to tend to this because it's um, getting overheated. But I'm about to make breakfast and then eat in the car because I don't have time to eat now. So that's that. I will catch y'all later. Bye. Hey y'all. Um, sorry that I switched to my phone. I'm trying to use my camera more often because it's better quality, but I just had done a clinic and made my long 40 minutes. It actually turned out to be like 45 minute commute home. Um, and as you can see, quickly changed clothes. I have um, a meeting with my scholarly work group, um, a couple other residents that I'm working with on our scholarly work project, which is part of the residency requirements. And we're meeting up at a Panera to um, get some work done. I am starving. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so hungry. I just, I guess my lunch just didn't do it for me. Um, so I got hungry pretty early and um, so I'm just gonna head over now um, to order some food and get us a spot so we can get our work done. up you guys today is Wednesday it is around noon I just finished a half morning of clinic and then I came home because we have virtual didactics um, clinic went pretty smooth today I saw six patients um, got all my work done and I came home what uh, I think I had an eight scheduled or nine and I had two or three no shows I can't remember exactly um, but yeah, I'm home. I'm about to eat and get ready to tune into didactics. Um, since while didactics is going on, I'm probably going to start packing. I'm going home this weekend for a wedding in Atlanta. We'll see my family. We'll be celebrating my mom's birthday this weekend. And um, I'm excited. I get to see my fiance again, too. So I'm probably going to start packing while didactics is going on because I'm on call tomorrow night. And yeah, uh, I remember now why my clinic day was a little bit shorter. So I did have two no-shows, but my last patient was an OB patient and she um, was actually in the hospital. She went into labor. So she was towards the end of her pregnancy, already full term. So she had gone into labor and I didn't have to have that appointment. So that's why I had gotten done um, a little bit early. I didn't have any like standout patients today, um, mostly chronic stuff, 
My most fun was this 83 year old patient who just got reass reassigned to me as her PCP and she has stable issues, but we were just like having girl talk and it was just funny. Um, so that was like my most notable, I guess, encounter for the day. I also had a young girl like for a well woman exam and I always like those like young 20s, um, just talking about women's health and answering questions about their bodies. Um, that's always good too. So yeah, it's a pretty chill day. Also, let's do a quick plant update. So this is my current plant. Um, I never named it. I only have one. I used to have three and the other ones died. But this one, since I've been putting all of my energy into it, has actually been doing really well. So we've got like new growth, one, two, three areas of new growth and um, just in general, a little left leaning, but seems to be doing very well. So I'm proud of it. I was about to say him or her. Um, yeah, I'm proud of my plant baby. So I'm about to water it and then get my food and get logged into didactics. I'll catch y'all later. <laughs> Hey guys, today is a Thursday now. So um, yesterday I had a full, no, yesterday I had a clinic and then didactics. And then I went to the gym. Um, and then I watched this movie last night. That was pretty cool. This morning I am back in clinic and clinic all day. Um, the morning part of clinic, I'm working with um, an attending and that's in my clinic and um, usually when we do that we kind of tag team their patients um, they still count towards my residency numbers even though they're not my patients but since I'm seeing them in our clinic it still counts so I'll be working with one of our attendings seeing patients with her this morning it should be pretty smooth I haven't checked out her schedule yet I'll do that when I get in the attending schedule is different from the resident schedule because they um, their their appointments are twenty minute appointment slots, and then like the like well physicals, hospital follow up, um, new patient things. Those are thirty minute appointment. I mean forty minute appointment slots as opposed to the resident schedule. It's fifteen and thirty. So. Um, I think that's nice, but they also see, you know, uh, more patients um, in a time frame and their schedule will extend all the way to like their last patient will be like at 1140 as opposed to the resident schedule where our last patient is generally always at 1045. Um, it just allows room for error, uh, falling behind things that come with being a resident, precepting and all that kind of stuff. So. <clears throat> and then after I work with her in the morning, I have my own continuity clinic this afternoon. Um, I have 10 patients scheduled and I'm hoping that it'll be smooth clinic day. I kind of read through them in bed. I can access the um, EMR from my phone. And so I read through the patients, you know, just briefly in bed. I don't, I don't do too much pre work for clinic anymore just because I've, been burned by the no-shows and like I don't know it's just I just I still get done at the same time whether I pre write notes or not so I just stopped doing it um I think that has just come with developing more efficiency and clinical skills over time 
Um, but yeah, after clinic, I'm on call tonight. So that will be fun. I'll bring you guys along. It's like call for our moms and baby service so I can take it from home as long as there's not um, a high risk patient or a laboring mom. So right now I do not believe there is. So I'm planning on being at home, but you never know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna have my overnight bag with me in the car um, just in case I have to go and stay in the hospital from clinic. Oh, hey you guys, today was such a busy day in clinic. I should say it was a busy afternoon. Like the morning was fine. I worked with my preceptor and saw her patients. I only saw like five. Um, got my nose done and they were pretty straightforward and then my patients in the afternoon I had 10 scheduled eight of them came and it was just like back to back to back to back um I got behind maybe about an hour max and then caught my caught back up but it was just busy go 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 and um then I had to precept my patients with my preceptor and then by the time all that was done it was like after five o'clock my call shift starts at five o'clock so i had to run over here to the hospital to relieve my co-resident who graciously stayed here because we have a ob patient um, that is here well she's technically she's in the emergency department but she's gonna come back up to triage soon after she's done with her eval there she got in a car accident and she's full term and uh, um may be staying here to um get an induction so that would mean that i'm here all night <laughs> Which is not ideal because uh, I really want to sleep in my own bed and my flight leaves tomorrow at noon and so I'm only going to have like a sliver of time to get everything done. I also have a an appointment, um, a derm appointment at 9 a.m. tomorrow. So if she stays here, I would just hate to have to stay awake all night laboring her. But um, we'll see what happens. I brought my stuff. I think I mentioned that this morning I brought all my overnight stuff just in case because you just never know what's gonna happen so I'm prepared um but yeah it's six after six I'm wondering if I should get dinner now even though I'm not starving but like I just don't want to get caught up with this OB patient and then I still have a couple more notes to finish from clinic I'm getting better doing my notes while I'm in clinic so I've gotten most of them done I don't I think I just still have I don't even think I brought my paper with me I left my clinic notes in the car I think I can still just do it from my memory though because I just left, so it's not like a huge deal. I usually jot some notes down on my run sheet, but yes, that's where I am. Um, actually, I think I'm just gonna sit here and try to finish my clinic notes, so at least that's all behind me, and then go from there. Kinda tired too. Oh, the joys of being on call. <laughs> sorry about this lighting in this call room but I just finished with my clinic notes and it turned out I only had three and they were all pretty much close to being done anyway so it didn't take me long looks like my OB patient is out of the emergency department so she's probably heading back to triage I'm gonna go um, use the bathroom and then head up there to see if I can just like you know get this evaluation done so that I can kind of move on with my night since she got into a car accident she's gonna have to stay for prolonged monitoring so i'm committed here for <sighs> probably like four hours uh which is unfortunate but it is what it is um let's keep it moving i'm about to go and see if i can catch her
so my OB patient is sticking around. She'll be hanging out, so I will be doing her labor overnight. And so I went back to my car to grab my overnight bag, which I had kind of just in case. So I will be here till the morning, unless she happens to deliver at some point overnight, which I doubt because she's only two centimeters. So I got back in and started to relax, even put my hair away. Um, and then I got a pizza mission for what sounds like bronchiolitis or early bronchiolitis. So I just pretty much finished like doing the orders and starting the note for that patient. And then I'm about to go down to the ED to see them really quick. It's a seven weeker, but ex preemie. Uh, so we'll see what he's looking like. Hey, just checking in. Um, it's after 4 a.m. I. Ooh, excuse me. I just went to go and check on my mom. Um, I think, I don't know if I mentioned, but we put a Foley bulb in her the first time around 11 30, 11 40. So I checked her again around like, ended up being like 3 50. Her Foley bulb was still in, but her cervix is a little bit more dilated. So that was that. We added on some pit because her contractions were starting to space out. Oh my gosh, I'm just like, <laughs> what's happening? Um, we added on some pit because her contractions were starting to space out. And then I'm just going to probably check her a little bit early because we have sign out at 7. And so I'd like to see if before I sign out if I could get that Foley bulb out. So we'll see. Um, but I'm gonna take a quick, another two hour nap. Um, I was able to get a few hours nap. The strip is looking good, so I'm feeling reassured. I'm gonna take a quick nap and um, check her again before sign out. Shift is over, I'm heading home now. Time to get ready for my flight. I know the light looks bad on me, but it's like you can tell. Uh oh, I messed it up. Well, I liked how, yeah, like how you can see like the glimmer of the sunshine because it's the morning. Um, but we'll just stay over here. Um, I'm about to go home, shower. Oh, my favorite part is just taking a shower after being out of my home for 24 hours. Um, so yeah, I'm about to go take a shower and um, just wrap things up before I need to go to the airport. <laughs> Hey, I'm just leaving my dermatology appointment. Well, it's technically it was an appointment with an esthetician for a laser. I have one more session of laser after this for my chin area. And she's also kind of like doing some of my chest, um, just in addition, um, just kind of like some spot areas. So yeah, the progress has been great. I have one more session and then might move on to some other parts of my body because I'm really liking this laser situation. But um, we'll see. Now I'm heading home and um, I'm already packed. I'm just going to eat and head to the airport. <laughs> 